there, beautiful souls, and welcome to the Hawk and I. I do hope this video finds you happy, healthy, and enjoying the magic and the beauty that is all around you. Working with spirit is absolutely incredible, and I know I've said this before, but the magic and the breathtaking, speechless moments are every single day for me. And, you know, every single day working with spirit is absolutely profound and different and there's no two days that are the same. And I absolutely love working with them. And I really struggle sometimes expressing how incredible the spirit dimensions are. There's almost no words to, to, to give those dimensions justice and, and help you feel what they feel like. It's, it's, it's just absolutely pure love and magic and wowness and awesomeness. And, you know, there are just so many <sighs> glorious things that spirit do that leave me, my jaw just dropped. Now I'm going to share a very recent story with you. And it starts off on a Friday afternoon. And I had spent most of my day doing, uh, getting caught up on emails and chores and paperwork. And I had been putting off going out to do a couple minor errands. So I decide, well, it's time to go. The day is getting away on me. And I hop in my truck and I start it up and my dashboard lights up. I got a flat tire. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Not on a Friday afternoon. So I hop out and I take a look. And the tire is flat to the rim. Right flat. And I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, I haven't, I haven't been anywhere in a couple of days. And I'm kind of having that moment of, you know, what's happened here? What am I going to do? So I, I Google tire shops near my location and up pops this tire shop 2.2 kilometers away from my home. And I thought, oh, I hope they're available. So I give them a ring and the voice on the other end says, oh, it's your lucky day. There's there's nobody here. We we just had a, a rush and we're, we have some downtime and be happy if you can come right away. So I had this moment of, well, what am I going to do? Call a tow truck or use the air compressor. So I fill up the tire and um, I ask Spirit to help me. Please get me 2.2 kilometers away. And I slowly make my way 2.2 kilometers and I arrive with about half the air in my tire. And I was very grateful. I was very grateful that I was able to get into a tire shop on a Friday afternoon. And I was very grateful that I was able to make it there <laughs> without going flat to my rim again. So I hop out and I go into the tire shop and I hand in my keys and you know I'm directed to have a seat in the waiting room so I have a seat and um I'm waiting and I'm waiting and then I'm joined by a dead person and I go oh hello I wasn't expecting dead folk today and uh he says Lana I really need your help I I, I need a favor today is a very important day it's the anniversary of my passing and I really want to talk to my dad He's in there working on your tire um, and he's going to be a little bit um, taken back when we speak. So I just want to give you a bit of a heads up because sometimes he can be a grouchy old man. <laughs> and I just kind of had this chuckle. I thought, oh, oh no, here we go. So um, I patiently wait and um, the tire technician comes out and he's got this puzzled look on his face. And he said, um, I can't find anything wrong with your tire. There's no nail in it, and there's there's nothing wrong with it. It hasn't been slashed. Um, it was lo really low in air when you got here, um, but we filled it up and we've we've tested it, and it's holding air fine. But we we want to just kind of wait a little bit and just kind of you know really make sure that there's nothing wrong with this tire. And I thought, oh my goodness, here we go. So I said to him, I said, um, can we talk? And his energy was, you know, was a little bit um, rushed. He was busy and I know he had other things to do and a little bit puzzled that I would want to talk to him. And I said to him, today's a very special day. And he paused and he said, well, actually today is a very difficult day. And his son who was standing next to me literally kind of gave me a shove in to get a little wee bit closer to him. And we started having a discussion and his son came forward um, with so much validation 
So his son passed tragically in a car accident that involved um, a tire issue. He had been driving um, on the highway and popped the tire and hit the uh, medium and, and died on scene. And his, the family had owned the tire shop and his dad um, was extremely overcome with a lot of guilt that um, he didn't notice there was anything wrong with the tire and there was just this 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 real heaviness in his heart that they owned a tire shop um, and nobody realized that there was an issue with the tire and his son came in with um, just so much love and so much um, wanting his dad to put that that guilt down that there was absolutely no way of predicting that there was a tire issue. Um, he was 18 when he passed and um, dad always felt responsible that um, the tire wasn't checked and that this had happened um, and their livelihood was in the tire industry. The chit chat was just absolutely incredible and at first dad was really taken back by what i do um but he was very very open and when i said to him i said your son said that you you can be a grouchy old man his jaw dropped and he said every time that we had an argument or a disagreement that's exactly what he called me was grouchy old man <laughs> So, um, you know, it was uh, one of those moments where I thought, oh man, you know, this is absolutely incredible. So the um, tech in the back of the shop came out and said, um, you know, to the owner of the shop, he said, we have tested this tire um, every which way possible. It's holding air now. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this tire. Um, and I just kind of looked at him and, um, he knew it was funny. He knew that the purpose of that flat tire was to get me there to and for his son to speak. He knew it. And it was, I was, I was just kind of taken back because at first, when I first started chit chatting with him and explaining what I do, there was a little bit of that standoffish, but he got it. He was like, that is so incredible that my son did that to you. And the other service tech um, who had missed out on the conversation um, was, you know, kind of left like, what's going on here? So we filled him in and then we ended up having his father come through <laughs> who had passed away with cancer. And then the receptionist, she came in and she's like, well, what's going on in here? And we ended up having a lovely time with her mother. So here I was in a tire shop with dead people reading for two and a half hours on a wonderful Friday afternoon. You know, spirit is absolutely incredible. And, um, you know, I did have that moment of, I don't have time for this when I saw that flat tire. And I really wasn't expecting spirit to be all over that because I didn't feel any spirit until I got into the tire shop. I do hope that you liked hearing a little bit of uh, this story on the tire shop dead folks. <laughs> I am wishing you so much love, light, blessings, and as always, a spirit guide.